real who's done it whether this guy was involved whether he was a victim whether he was a accomplice co-conspirator it's a good doozy so this is the case of Dale Kerstetter so let me give you the story Dale is 50 years old he works at the Corning glass uh, factory and I believe this was in Bradford Pennsylvania so it's kind of close to me I, I I'm definitely familiar with Corning they had a plant where I grew up not the same as this uh, you know there's different different plants but uh, on September 12th 1987 Dale Kerstetter was a security guard at the Corning plant and he worked the I guess you would say the midnight shift I think he was to check in at 1030 at night and he worked till 7 in the morning <sighs> sometime within 1030 at night when he checked in until 7 o'clock a.m. when he was relieved he went missing so yeah right now just a missing persons case right well they soon discovered that $250,000 worth of platinum piping was taken. Now platinum piping is, um, according to some sources, more valuable, at least in 1987, than gold is. So the question quickly becomes was... Dale Kerstetter the thief and organized the crime and his own disappearance or was there something more sinister well what kind of disturbed me is they treated this as a missing persons case but it seemed like it didn't have a lot of urgency until the manager decided four days later to check the surveillance cameras. Now this really boggles my mind. Okay, first of all, should not not be the first place that you check for clues. Now this manager had gone on to say that Dale was a marginal employee. Now Dale had worked at this Corning factory plant for. 29 years he started working there in 1959 um, to call him a marginal employee I mean yeah you have that right to do so but a man who has worked at the same company for that long without being terminated without being fired um, he must be doing something right during this time, Corning was having a lot of layoffs. And in fact, I believe Dale had to take a pay cut. It wasn't significant, but any pay cut is significant. Uh, but he didn't lose his job because I'm assuming his years of service there. You know, I would question this manager number one as to what a marginal employee is. Is it somebody that comes in and just does his job every day? You know, because to me, that's not marginal. That's what's expected of you. So his choice of words there, I'm a little concerned with, but not as concerned as I am as waiting four days to check surveillance video. Now, thank goodness, this is 1987. So you didn't have a lot of surveillance videos. So thank goodness that you did. Now, when he checks this, did I mention it was four days later? Okay, four days later when Dale's relief shows up at 7.30 in the morning and says, oh, well, Dale's not sitting where he normally does. Go into the lunchroom, find his lunch, his lunch pail's there, nothing's eaten out of it. Goes out into the parking lot, finds Dale's truck, Keys are in the ignition. A full carton of cigarettes unopened on the front seat along with an empty 
holster to a 22 caliber pistol but no Dale when you think at that point in time the plant manager the human resources department some sort of supervisor would be like oh shit we have a problem here right uh, Dale's not here even if you don't know that there's a theft let's take that out of the equation there's no crime committed but Dale's not there and you have these clues to the something's wrong number one is truck being there number two that he didn't eat his lunch number three all the the unopened carton of cigarettes when you know you work there with this guy he's been there for 30 years that he smokes all the time it doesn't take a detective to know hey this isn't good but you wait did I mention this four days to review that surveillance video. Now I know hindsight's 2020. I know it. But that's a mistake. Plain and simple. That surveillance footage should have been reviewed that day. Would it have made a difference? Maybe, because guess what they find on the surveillance video? They see Dale. But guess what? They see a masked intruder. They have an offender. Then, oh, we better start looking to see if anything's missing. That's when they determine, hey, the platinum pipe, quarter million dollars of it is missing. Now, according to my research, the offender cut out little sections of this pipe and According to the newspaper report I read, it weighed about 24 pounds. This is going to be significant. So he's, the offender steals 24 pounds worth of product. The surveillance video, which is not good, okay? I viewed it. It is not good as a... A good way of explaining it other than to say it is shitty if you know what I mean you can imagine 1987 surveillance video yes shitty however you're able to see an intruder you're able to see the intruder in Dale converse the intruder is in that plant a good amount of time he doesn't appear to be in a hurry now that's arbitrary because you can't really tell that from the video at one point in the video you can see the offender standing behind Dale kinda as if he could have a weapon at his back they walk towards the surveillance camera and Dale specifically looks up at it now the plant manager says that it looks like Dale may have been like given the the FU to the company look I can steal your platinum there's nothing you can do about it again just like any other case we've ever looked at you have two sides one Dale had nothing to do with it and other that Dale was involved in it so what do we have to do in order to solve this case well the first thing is we have to look at victimology right what type of person is Dale? Is the type of person that, number one, would do something like this? Number two, does he have the means, the capability, the, the mind in order to pull this off? Well, we want to look at victimology for that. What type of person was he? Well, I can tell you right away, I mean, just by him working at the same job for almost 30 years, he's a dedicated person. 
Now you could break that down and say a dedicated employee, you could break it down and say dedicated husband, whatever it is. Fact is, I am sure he had turmoil within those 30 years and he worked through it and stayed with the same company. Now he was an Air Force veteran. His family described him as an outdoorsman, simple, very kind, trustworthy. For the most part, you would expect a family member to say that. Uh, but his friends have said that as well. So now I have the preponderance of two types of people. One of the things that was stood out in this victimology that bothered me was they said he enjoyed the outdoors, which no problem. I That's my favorite pastime, the outdoors, but is skydiving. When I saw that, I sat up in my chair a little bit more because what is skydiving? That's a thrill-seeking, adventurous type of endeavor. I'm not sure what he did as an Air Force veteran, but skydiving piqued my interest. Now, it's the only thing out of his victimology that made me feel a little bit, oh, okay, he could be involved in this. He had been divorced 10 years prior to this crime, so probably 1977 he was divorced. He had six children, from what I understand, five daughters, one son who lived with him during this time. And they were all older. I mean, what's Dale? Dale was 50 years old. Um... I hate to say this because it, it may not be true and it may not have any relevance but I say it because as a detective you look for things that stick out yes you you do have gut feelings you have hunches but you don't necessarily act on them you don't go down that road it's just something you know and you move forward when I look at Dale's picture several pictures that I saw. I got to be honest with you, I'm shocked that he was only 50 years old. He looked much older than that. Now that could be genetics. That could be a number of things. Stress. I do notice that a lot in people that abuse or drink heavily. We're talking alcohol. Not See, and the reason I say I hate to say that is because I don't want to put that on somebody when it may not be true okay but he looks 70 years old to me and here he's only 50 now let's look at you know was this a murder 